Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and the little ones too. Wyatt, tell them what time it is. Time for the One Kids Club 252 show. <laughs> so glad to be here today. Welcome, kiddos. We're so excited. I'm ready. I'm ready to learn about Jesus, get to spend time with our families, and we can stand up. Go ahead and get up on your feet. Get ready to dance a little bit with our first song. Wanna thank God for the way He made me. Everywhere I look, I see how much He loves me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. And I just can't hide it. Yes, I love Him too. Oh oh oh. Yes, I love Him too. It's true, God's love is special. God's love is special. God's love is special. God's love is special. His love is special. Oh, so special. I'm gonna say, oh, 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 God loves me, I know. I'm singing, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, I love it too. Yes, I do. Hey, do you feel special? I feel special, because God loves me. Why? what time is it? It's time for... What animal is this? What animal is this? No, 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 no. What animal is this? What animal is this? What animal is this? Yeah. Am I getting better? Okay, yeah. all right, sorry. I'm, I'm no Paul, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so, the animal that we picked this week, it's, uh, it's not from the United States. Mm-hmm. It is uh, from Australia. What mm. animal do you think about whenever you hear of Australia? A wallaby. A wallaby. A wallaby. Okay. Um, it's not a wallaby. They have babies that they call kids. Humans. Oh, no, not from the U.S. Nope. Hmm. Um, Those are from the U.S. You ready? I bet there's some boys and girls at home that already got it. I'm sure they already know because they're pretty smart. You ready to see it? It's a kangaroo! It's a kangaroo. (laughs) Kangaroo, mate. Kangaroo? Hey. They hop like this. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, but they can box too. (laughs) And they kick with their their bottom feet. Yes. They, They lean back on their tails and kick with their feet. And so I found out an interesting fact that... They call this another leg. It's actually their tail because they spend so much time on it. Mm. But, but it's a leg. So that's something that I learned today. That's pretty good stuff. Okay. Did you know that? I didn't know they called it a leg. I didn't either. So now we both know. Pretty cool looking kangaroo. They always look tough and buff. Oh, yeah. So those I thought things, that was pretty sweet. Those things are dangerous. Nice. You All don't, right. You don't pet kangaroos. Kangaroo. What's next? I spy. Oh. Last week I did so good at I spy. 
Yes. Wait, I know. I didn't do too good. Uh, I remember I almost gave up. You did almost give up. I almost gave up. I didn't do so good. Okay. Hopefully, I do better this week. All right. I spy with my little eye something yellow. Yellow. Okay. All right. Let me look around for something yellow. Ha! Easy. Right there. Nope. Nope. It's not. It's not that. Wyatt, are you changing it as we go? Um. Well, you only guessed one thing. Oh. Okay. So if I had changed I always want to get it on my first try. Yeah. What about that thing? No, it's it's not that. But that's yellow. It, it is yellow. It's not the only yellow thing, though. I got to get a pretty good color because... I got to get better at there's this. There's not a lot of it, but there's enough of it. Okay. I wish I had one of these boys and girls here with me so they could help me. I'm I not bet you guys already thinking. know what it is. Do you guys know what it is already? Yeah. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> You're really cold, Keenan. What? You're really cold. Oh, man. I don't know what it is. You're getting warmer. You're getting warmer. <laughs> Ah, this piece of paper. No, you passed it. Oh, man. Star. Yes. Yeah! Ah, ding, ding, ding. Star right there. Star. Right there, boys and girls. How'd I miss that? Why you guys didn't tell me? Uh, yeah, I don't Could've know. Gone looked at it. Ten seconds ago. All right. Woo! Memory verse time. Memory verse. Memory verse time. All right, so boys and girls, I made a mistake last week. I did two different memory verses for the same verse. So we simplified it. We made it easy. Okay, that's a big word for made it easy. Okay, so James 1, 19. You ready, Wyatt? Yep. All right, James 1, 19. James 1, 19. My dear brothers and sisters. My dear brothers and sisters. Take note of this. Take note of this. Everyone. Everyone. Should be quick to listen. <laughs> Should be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. And slow to become angry. All right, so I know some of our boys and girls can't read at home, but the really important part is take note. That means pay attention, means think really, really hard about. And then everyone, that means moms, dads, uncles, grandpas, all the little kids in the house need to be quick. That means go fast to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. If we're quick to listen, if we're quick to listen to Jesus and our parents, then everything else gets a little bit easier. Because if I'm listening first, then I'm slow to speak and I'm slow to get mad. All right, let's do it one more time. You start this time. James 119. James 119. My dear brothers and sisters. My dear brothers and sisters. Take note of this. Take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen. Everyone should be quick to listen. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. And slow to become angry. And slow to become angry. All right, let's keep practicing with our family on that verse. And by the end of the month, I think we'll get it. All right, now we are on to... Mission. Missions! Boop, 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 boop. All right, so Love what are missions? missions? What are missions, Why? Love missions. Missions are when we go tell people that Jesus loves them. Yes, that Jesus loves them. And remember last week, we talked about it. Doesn't matter what their situation is, doesn't matter where they're from, how old they are, that's just how we tell them that Jesus loves them. And he loves every one of us, okay? All right, what we got next? We got another, we got the video. We got Bible the study. Bible time. Let's go. Woo, woo. Who, who know what time it is? It's time to hear.
kneading the bread. You fold and push, fold and push. It's so much fun. But there was a lot to do before I got to the kneading part. First, I had to mix the flour and salt in the oil. Then I poured in the yeast. You have to be careful with it and pour it in slowly. Then I mixed it into the flour. Finally, I got to knead. The kneading really is the best part of making bread. You fold and push, fold and push. Ooh, ooh. It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Ooh, ooh. Making some bread today, are you? Hi, Ollie, I sure am. Kneading the bread is my favorite part. It's awesome. Making bread is fun. It's true. I know of someone who made bread just like you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. And today, I'm playing fetch with my best dog, Stormy Jane. Whoa, Stormy Jane, hold on, silly dog. Wait, where's the toy? Oh, you brought me your bowl. She seems upset. What do you guys think Stormy Jane wants? Oh, food, I bet you're right. Are you hungry, Stormy Jane? I will take that as a yes. Have you guys ever been hungry? Like, really hungry? Like, so hungry that your tummy is making that rumbling noise? You have? Well, Stormy has, for sure. Which reminds me of a story about a guy who was really hungry. Let me get Stormy some food and I'll tell it to you. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah, who one day got very, very hungry. But there was no food or water anywhere. God told Elijah to go to a woman that God had chosen and she would give him food. So Elijah went off to find her. Tell me if you see the woman. A goat? No, that's not her. There's a man, but that's not who we're looking for. You see her? You're right. There she is. That's the woman God said to ask. So Elijah went up to her and said, Can I have a drink of water, please? And a piece of bread? I'm very hungry. I'm so sorry, she said. I don't have any bread. I only have a little oil and a little flour. I'm picking up sticks so I can make one more meal for me and my son. Then we won't have any food left. But Elijah told the woman, Don't be afraid. God will help you. So the woman went home, and she used the last of her flour and oil to make bread for Elijah. There goes the oil, and there goes the flour. Now she's got to pat the dough. Can everyone help? Let's pat it. Pat, pat, pat. Now let's knead it. Knead, knead, knead. Good job, little bakers. You can stop. The bread is ready. The woman gave it to Elijah, who was super hungry. Thank you, Elijah said. But what about the woman and her son? They needed bread too. All her flour and oil were gone. But remember, Elijah had told her that God would help her. Look, on the table, there's more oil and there's more flour. Elijah told her that God said she would not run out of flour or oil. And they didn't. From that day on, Elijah, the woman, and her son all had food to eat. They were very thankful for the food God gave them. God is good. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God helped the woman and her family. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! The woman made bread for Elijah, and then God made sure 
sure she would have more flour and oil to make more bread. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. I know Elijah was thankful for that bread. I'm thankful for bread too. I should write that down and put it on our thankful tree. I'm thankful for bread and apples and bananas and pizza and I have so many leaves to add. See you guys next time. God is good. God is good. Oh, man. So, why have you ever been without something that you really needed? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. What happened? Well, so one time I was wanting to go on a mission trip, mm -hmm. and I didn't have any money <laughs> to go on the mission trip. And so I prayed, and I prayed, and I asked God to give me a way to get money for the mission trip. And then the lady walked up to my mom and said, I heard your, son, your kids are going on a mission trip, and she gave her the money for my mission trip because God wanted me to go. God is good. God is good. There's a word called pro he provides for us, mm -hmm. gets us what we need. That's pretty cool. So God is good. So in that video you saw there at the end, um, the little boy was making uh, these little things uh, leaves to say thank you for things that he, that he got, that he received. Uh, to show how good God was. I bet we can do that. You want to try to do that before next yeah. week, Wyatt? Yeah, they can Boys come. and girls, you can do that at home as well. All right? So, we're going to pray about God being good to each one of us. God, thank you so much for being good to us. Thank you for this story and that we learned a very valuable lesson tonight, uh, today, that we know that you provide for us, that you get us what we need and that we believe in you and we trust you as we grow, that we, we learn more about you and then we take on your characteristics, that we act more like you. We love you and we're so grateful that you are good. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.